never see a huge problem here. <laughs> nah. Uh, so this uh, cutter is quite close to the material because the cutter is not very long. But I think this piece will hit this screw, which is even worse than just breaking a end mill that might screw up the spin or whatever. So that's that's not good. <laughs> I don't need a longer cutter. Uh, maybe it, maybe it, it is possible, but it's a bit scary to do. Um, what shall I do? Nice chippies. There's something with uh, wrong with Mac 3. Uh, you can see that it wanted to make taps, but the motion downwards were, was like maximum speed. Beyond, I even think. And it's a good way to lose steps. So there's something wrong in Mac 3. Well, it's probably Kanban that makes the code. It has a problem with the triangular taps that it goes, uh, it tries to go as fast as possible, which will uh, screw up. Well, in this case, it worked out, but it didn't look good. It looked like it might fail. That's why I usually use square taps. In this case, I didn't. So here a bearing will sit, so let's test if that fits before I go uh, any further. I only got shitty bearings, but yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll, I can push them in. Ooh, that fits like a glove. Thank God. Yeah. You probably wonder what the fuck is this what you're making. It's gonna be my new corrugator. I didn't think too long about it, to be fair. So the way I'll get tension on the rollers is still a bit primitive, but... I couldn't come up with anything else. That looks good. Pretty thick pieces of um, uh, HPL. It's quite cool stuff. You could make a simple CNC with this material I have laying around. Instead of al aluminium, it is quite stiff and way cheaper. This, for instance, I buy second hand. It's 12 millimeter, and they were old tabletops from uh, I think uh, school tables I might even buy more of this although I, I still have a table that is like one of these tabletops that I found on the street which is one meter 50 long or something one meter wide so it's a lot of lot of this material so I don't have to buy anything 
But every time I machine it, I think, damn, why don't I just make my new machine with this? Because the aluminium is so damn expensive lately. And I, I'm, I think this will work. Only downside might be that it, it does suck up a little bit of moist. So that might be a problem. Maybe you can seal it, I don't know. That's too much work. Now, these have taps. Uh, let's see if we can break them out. Yes, we can. I uh, clean off the tops here. Focus, focus, focus. Jesus. Ah, you see these on the belt grinder. So I cut some M8 rod. Uh, I pushed the bearing in, but I think I'll see if I can align it a little bit better. So normally you would like uh, put power on the outer rim. In this case, well, maybe I can use a big ring. This one. Not sure if that's enough. So now these have really nice end cups. I'm gonna thread the rod through. Still a tiny bit of wibble wobble. But then again, uh, this is a CNC, not a late. So. <laughs> not be completely straight either and another thing is that I don't know if my bearing bearings are seated straight and I don't dare uh, putting a lot of power on here because I might end up fucking up the end caps so that's why I did what I just did but apparently it's not good enough or Maybe they are seated crooked now, because <clears throat> uh, let's say the depth of this ring, the inner side, this pocket, might not be completely flat to this surface. There's nothing I can do about that. It has to do with how crappy my uh, CNC bed is at the moment. 
but I think it's good enough. At least it doesn't have much friction. Now the other one will sit here, of course, and it has a uh, needs uh, like a um, spring, spring loaded. That's a crappy bearing. Oh, thank you. I'm thinking if I can, one roller, if I can uh, switch over how it works. Now, this rolls independently of this, but maybe I want to have the bearing steady on this part. Hmm, I have to think about that because I might want to use a motor, which is of course in this case not possible. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, it's good enough for me now, but might have to redesign it again, make uh, a third version. At least this is better than it was by far. I mean, it's almost impossible to fuck that up, to make it better than it was. Oh, anyhow, that's a corrugator, uh, one that you have to drive like this. And that's quite stupid because every time you do this and stop, you will see this in the corrugation. So I might have to go back to the drawing board anyways, but for now it will work. <laughs> 